Answering the Taliban's call to turn up for work, most government employees arrived at their offices for the start of the working week to be met by a new set of guards. For the Taliban, it's another important step towards securing power. We are quite pleased that there has not been any looting or anything and the people are beginning to, to be confident in going back out and resuming their normal lives. And uh, hopefully uh, in a very short period, we will, we will back to completely no, complete normalcy. The streets have been getting busier every day, but an expected reopening of the banks didn't happen. Only the cash machines were working with a maximum withdrawal limit of $200. I was told to come to the bank on Saturday and I would get my money. I don't have any money left. These banks are holding many people's salaries and everyone has been here several times but got nothing. Plans for a new government continue. One clear sign of that, the Taliban political chief, Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, has returned to the country. The Taliban is holding talks on ways to make its new government more acceptable to people here and to the international community, but insists it has no time for elections. All the while, the country is still reeling from the upheavals of this past week. The most pressing crisis is still the chaos at Kabul's international airport, with pictures uploaded to social media showing more people bloodied and injured as thousands try to leave the country. In contrast, Dr. Shafiq Shinwari and his colleagues at the Ministry of Public Health could only report an uneventful end to their working day. Nobody should flee the country. This is their country, no matter how beautiful other countries may be, they will feel like a slave in those places. The first day back at their desks, and for these workers at least, so far, so good. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kabul.